uh, for my homily, I'd like you to focus in on three words. First way we heard in our first reading, return. The second word we heard in our second reading, reconciliation. And the third word you will hear maybe as you receive ashes on your forehead. The minister can say one of two options, and one is repent and believe the gospel. First of all, return. What were the circumstances of the prophet Joel passing those words of the Lord on to us? Repent, says the Lord. Well, as I said in the introduction to the readings, the prophecy, the exhortation, was given by the prophet Joel about a hundred years after the Jewish people had been exiled into Babylonia and had come back. Now, initially, of course, they were happy to come back to their own land. And they were enthusiastic, filled with prayer, fervor, and recommitted to follow in the covenant with God. But this is about a hundred years later, and the people have become lax in the religious devotion and the faithfulness to the covenant. In fact, politically, they were once again corrupt. And we even corrupt in the practice of the priesthood. So Joel gets a message from the Lord and shares it with the people. Repent. Come back. Return. And he says that there is nothing more important than returning to the Lord. Even wise and wise grooms should follow the command immediately. Priests should weep. Weep for their corruption and sinfulness. Weep so that they can once again return to the Lord. Now that message was given 2,400 years ago in a place a thousand of miles from here. But the message is proclaimed and directed to us to the degree that we are not as close as we should be to the Lord. And that includes all of us. Return to the Lord. Reconciliation. It's one of the favorite words of St. Paul in his letter, talking about the work of Christ. Reconciliation means bringing back together again that which should have been together to begin with. Reconciliation describes our separation from God, from Adam and Eve, from the very beginning, it was not God's intention, but we became separated from God because of our misuse of freedom, because of our sinfulness. And the work of Christ was bringing us back together again. And now we did that in his own purpose, in his own person. He was divine and human. But that was his work of our second will. He preached the love of God. He died on the cross for our salvation so that we could be at peace once again with God. Reconciliation. But Paul goes even further. He says that we are the ambassadors of reconciliation. But to the degree we have a message for others 
shouldn't we be at peace with God? And again, there's a matter of degree who is perfectly at peace with God. So if our message to brothers is, oh, come on and actually retreat, or oh, come to Mass with me, we better be sure that we are at peace with God. And the third way I want you to focus in on is repent. As I said, the ministry will impose the issues upon you. I can say one of two formulas, and these are similar words. Repent and believe the gospel, or you are dust. But I want to focus on, on repent. It was the word that Jesus used and of all the evangelists used to sum up Jesus' preaching. And the theme of the preaching was repent. The kingdom of God is near. It was the message of Jesus verbally. It's also implied in what do we do today? And the gospel we heard, repent. Now, the actual Greek word that's used is metanoia. And there's a word that can be variously translated. It can be translated as turn around, change your mind, take a new perspective on life. And that translation might be more appropriate for those who are seeking Easter baptism, who are going to convert and changing their, their lives, turning around. The translation repent might be appropriate for us who have already been baptized because it's a matter not so much of turning around completely, but straightening out our course so that we are more faithful to God. But again, it's a matter of degree, how crooked is our course. But the minister says not only repent, but also believe the gospel, because it isn't enough for us to turn around and go in a new direction. We, we don't want to be staggering and not knowing what, or quite what direction to follow. We want to follow the direction of Christ, the way of the kingdom, how he preached, how he showed us how to live. So it's not only repent, but believe the gospel. So I advise you to focus then on these three words. Return to the Lord. Be reconciled with God, and be in fact messengers, ambassadors of reconciliation to God and repent and believe the God.